you guys welcome back to my channel so I'm back with an unboxing but before we get into the unboxing I have a story for you guys because this guy just pissed me off so when I first moved here I made arrangements with my post office here in town to have all my packages be delivered right to my front door instead of being left downstairs where our mailboxes are because let's be honest I don't trust a motherfucker in this building so for the past few months I've been here, I've gotten to know my delivery guy pretty well. I like to bake cookies for him and his kids and his wife. She just gave birth to their third child, which is the reason why he was actually not the one delivering my package today. He was actually on leave, so I was forced to deal with this little peckerhead instead. So I go to answer my front door to get my package, and the guy who's standing there is maybe mid to late 20s, very early 30s, very attractive, very cute young guy, and he's smiling at me. So like a normal human being, I shoot him back a smile as well. So out of nowhere, he starts to make small talk with me, like how is the weather normally around here? And then he mentions that he's new in town, and I'm somebody I can, I can totally relate to him. I'm not someone who's from here, so... Being an outsider coming into a small town like this, it can definitely be kind of awkward and very, very strange because all these people are born and raised in this area and they're from here and then there's you who just for whatever reason decides to come to East Bumfuck and want to live here. Small talk continues for another good like five minutes and after that five minutes it starts to get to that awkward point where one person's talking and the other person who is listening is just like, uh-huh, yeah, oh my god, yeah, I know, totally. Like, you can, you can totally tell the other person is just not interested. However, the other person who is talking just won't stop talking. So you have to sit there and just be like, yeah, oh my god, yes, and laugh and pretend laugh and it's just awkward. So at this point in the conversation when it started to get kind of awkward, I decided to go ahead and just call it quits because I'm a busy person. I knew I had to film this video for you guys, so I wanted to film it as soon as possible. So I cut it short and he proceeds to say, okay, well if you want to go ahead and just sign right here, I'll be on my way, and how about putting a number down below it as well, and then does one of these to me. Normally, I would not have reacted the way I'd reacted. However, I've had a pretty crappy day so far, and the highlight of my day was me getting this package, and it was just ruined by a douche lord who thought he could flirt with me after I mentioned that I was living here with my husband. At this point, I'm fucking annoyed, so I give him a little smirk, sign my name, and write the numbers 666 underneath my name, snatch my fucking package from his hands, and slam the fucking door in his face, because I don't have time for little douche lords like that who think that they're gonna get any girl's number they want to, because that's essentially the vibes I got from him after I had mentioned very, very blatantly that I was living here with my husband, and this little pecker douche wanted to get my number. So yes, that was my petty moment of the day. Actually, my petty moment moment of the week, but I'm pretty sure something else will come up and I'll have another story time for you guys. However, we're not here for story times, we're here for unboxings, so let's get to that. So here's the package, I'm very excited for it, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got in this package. Why does this knife feel so nasty? Blech. Much better. there. Alright, so let's get into this thing, this package. Boop. Alright, so I was on the Wet n Wild website and noticed that they had had their entire brand new limited edition collection, the Autumn Lush Collection, for sale for $28. That included two very special items that I'm going to save for last. So this is the bag that my products came in, which I'm very happy about. I love getting little bags like these, especially ones that are this material because they're very, very durable and very, very easy to travel with. So I think I'm going to use this actually for my Generation Beauty trip because I like how how sturdy it is. It's, it's perfect. So the first few things I'm seeing in here are mascaras. And from the looks of it, they are colored mascaras, which I'm really not that familiar with colored mascaras. I have one from Butter London, but I rarely use it because the one time I used it, it clumped my lashes so bad. But these look pretty cool. So I have this one in green as a thistle, which is obviously a green mascara. Unbreakable bronze, which I've never seen a bronze uh, mascara before, so that's pretty interesting. This one, the blue one, is called Sapphire Night Live. That looks gorgeous. And then the last one is Glamethyst Rock, which is a very pretty, like, 
really pretty purple. I am so excited to use these. So I will definitely be doing a first impression on these coming in the next few weeks. The next two things I pulled out of that little bag were two of the Wet n Wild trios. You guys know I am in love with these little trios. I collect them. The first one I have here is in Velour Vixen. Ooh. And it looks freaking gorgeous and I cannot wait to use these two colors together. I have a look in mind and I'm very excited for it. So I will be doing two separate tutorials using each of these trios for you guys on my channel in the next few days. The last one is my favorite one out of both of them, I think, and this one's in the shade Plaid to the Bone. This looks beautiful, especially this middle shade right here, the crease shade. I cannot wait to do a look with this trio. This one, it just, it looks beautiful. Actually, because your opinions matter, tell me which trio you want to see a tutorial for first. So, do you want to see one for Velour Vixen first or Plaid to the Bone? It's up to you guys. Near, 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 near. Lastly, for the collection, I have all four of the brand new, what are these? The Wet n Wild Color Icon Matte Liquid Lipsticks. We're going to swatch these now. All right, so they're all unwrapped and ready to go for swatching. So I have this first one here in the shade 2 Tulip to quit, which I think is pretty cute. I've always loved Wet n Wild's creativity with their names for their products. I think they're the cutest things in the world, but all right, so if the scent test, these fail. They do smell very, very chemically. They're very, very strong. However, I can get past a scent if the colors or if the pigmentation is all there. So the moment of truth. All right, so this is too, too lip to quit. This one looks to be a little on the patchy side. However, for the most part, the opacity is there. It looks beautiful. These claim to be matte, so I'm going to let that one dry a little bit and we'll go on to the next shade. Next up, I have How Fleek Is Your Love? And it's this really, like, really, like, almost fiery reddish orange color. It looks gorgeous in the tube. Let's try a swatch. Once again, kind of chemically smelling but we're here for the swatches. That actually looks pretty good. Look at that opacity. That is gorgeous. So these are definitely impressing me, but I'm more excited for these two shades right here because they're vampy lips and you guys know about my vampy lips and I. Then we have Don't Be a Plum Plum. That's so cute. And it is, it's weird because in the tube it looks more red, but in the light, well, not in the light you guys can see here, but in as I'm looking at it physically, in the tube at least, it looks more purple. So let's go ahead and try this one. We'll put him right here. Oh, <gasps> look at that color. Look how beautiful that is. And this one has dried mostly to a matte-ish finish. So these do dry matte. But look at that opacity of that. That is beautiful. The last one, I think, is the one I'm most excited for because it's the deepest shade. And this one is Take It Like a Vamp. Look how dark that looks. And it looks like almost brown. So we're going to see how it swatches. So, but once again, it looks more purple in the light. So let's see how this one goes. So we'll go on this one on this side. So, oh my god. That is a beautiful dark purplish burgundy like I don't even know how to describe the color it's so unique but it's gorgeous actually I just got an idea for another video so I'm gonna be doing a comparison video between the vivid matte liquids from Maybelline and these because I'm pretty sure these are beating the dog shit out of those Maybelline ones that are like twice the price of these so yeah, these are the swatches of all the lippies in the Autumn Lush collection. However, that does it for the actual like collection itself. But now I want to take some time and show you guys two sneak peeks for two prizes that are going to be in my giveaway. More than anything in the world, I wish I could give each and every one of you guys something. However, that is not possible for me right now. So I am offering you guys this giveaway because you guys have given me so much more than I could ever give back to you by giving me the chance to be 
asked to go as a content creator, as talent, to Generation Beauty in New York City in the next few weeks. And I'm just so incredibly humbled and thankful for the opportunity. And I cannot wait to see you guys if I get a chance to. And just, I can't wait to say thank you to your faces because I am being so honest right now, guys. If it wasn't because of your constant support of me and my channel, I would have never been asked to go to this opportunity, this this event. Like, this is a major thing for me, and I have you guys to thank for that. So, with all that being said, I am officially announcing my giveaway right now. However, it is not going to start until the 19th of September, which is the day after I get back from Generation Beauty. And the reason is because I still want to do some more shopping for you guys at Generation Beauty because I know a lot of amazing brands are going to be there. So I want to make sure to get as much as I can for you guys because you guys deserve all of it and more. So I am going to let you guys enter early only one time by asking me a question down below for my upcoming Q&A which will be filmed and edited tomorrow and then put up on I want to say Tuesday of next week and that will count as your first extra entry into my giveaway. However, I will say you can ask multiple questions if you'd like but only one question will count as one entry. You're not going to get extra entries for every question you ask. That's not how it's going to happen. That's not fair. So only one question per person will be counted as one entry in my giveaway. As for the sneak peek of the first two items in my giveaway, drum roll, please. Uh, These two items were two of the hardest items to get your hands on this past summer. And yes, they are two wet and wild items. You can probably guess what they are. They are these babies. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders in the shades Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy. When I saw these were included in this uh, bundle from Wet n Wild for the holiday collection, I literally was like, holy shit, that is perfect for my giveaway because I knew that a lot of people weren't able to get their hands on. I know these are so sought after to this day. I've seen these being sold on eBay for like, upwards of 20 bucks per powder. So I know these are sought after. So I was super excited to see these were included in the bundle. So these are the first two items you'll be getting in the giveaway. As for the rest of it, stay tuned until the 19th when it officially starts. Until then, leave your questions down below for your first entry and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.